Hey, Greg. What are you all doing? I've got a uh, Bardell that came in last night. This guy, um, we picked him up at a residence. Real sweet people call this. Um, he's starving to death. I can't find any injuries on this bird. Right now I'm uh, giving fluids. You give their fluids in between the legs. And uh, these fluids are warmed. It's lactated ringers. And uh, you have to find uh, a place where you don't pull air, negative pressure. There's an air pocket in there, and if you put fluids in it, you can kill the bird. So we're good. We're going to split this on either side of his under thigh. And uh, but this guy's just totally starving to death, weak, um, wobbly. We'll give him a B12 shot and some fluids and pop him back up. And it's kind of one of our specialties here is bringing back emaciated animals. Dan, why do you come to Wild Heart? Um, I like to say it is the hardest, most fulfilling job I've ever had. I would say that's accurate for all of us. And, uh, fill it. Whatever I can do for these guys, nobody else is in the area, give a little back. Well, we appreciate it, sir. Hi, Susan, Lindsay. Hi. Hi, Greg. What are you all doing? Cleaning. All right. Seems like a never-ending job here, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> and why do you all like uh, coming to Wild Heart? Why do I like coming to Wild Heart? Because I think every life deserves a chance, and if I can be a small part of that, it makes me feel good. It makes It's rewarding. It makes me feel useful. And I love being here with the people that also love animals. Yeah, that's awesome. Lindsay? I enjoy going because I like helping out, and I think everything deserves a second chance at life. So. Well, that's awesome, and we're glad we all are here to help us. We enjoy being here. <laughs> well, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. What makes you come out here to Wild Heart to help? Besides like Susan. It, like, <laughs> like it was once said, everything has a chance for life here. Uh, good, bad, indifferent. There's, you know, everything deserves a chance. Brett, why do you come to Wild Heart Ranch? I really enjoy working with the animals. I just love coming out here. I've always loved animals. It's just a great place to be. They love you. Look at that. Bob knows who's good people. He's a great judge of character. There's Greg. Hi. Hi. This is all Greg's stuff. He brings it every time he comes to the clinic. It's 900 pounds of Greg's stuff. And that's what he films us with. Let me ask you this. Uh oh. What was the moment at Wild Heart that caused you to decide that this was who you are and what you want to do with your time? Oh, geez. Uh, a long time ago. Um, there was a pet store caught on fire in Owasso, and you took all those animals in. Gosh, that was a mess. And uh, my son came out here and volunteered and listened to him. And then, golly, I'd say probably eight, ten years before that, uh, my daughter brought home something from uh, school. Uh, about Wild Heart Ranch, and we made a donation back then. Oh, thank you. If I didn't thank you back then. <laughs> okay, you're going to get a video tour by Annette. This is the Bardell we just worked on. I've already seen him. Here is Lumpy's room. One thing that new volunteers say about Wild Heart when they walk in, it's so small. Yes, it is. This is also the fawn room as soon as Lumpy moves to Greg's house for the summer. We care for 2,000 animals on average per year in this room. Now right now it doesn't look like we have a lot of space. Pretty soon we will sacrifice our floor space. There's Winston. For play pens and incubator tables. Now we currently have 54 squirrels in care. And all these tubs are incubating. These are intermediate cages. They're full of squirrels. Um, this is our gray squirrel cage. Oh, we got some guys in the net bowl hanging out and there's a bunch in the hammock but they're under the covers let's see these guys are feisty they're getting really wild and we have a our big cage our pre-release cage that's across the road on the new property we're going to release our first squirrels on our new land this year 
Uh, it's full. There's probably 25, 30 squirrels in it. Well, Annette, what about the new facility that we want to build across the street? Greg, I'm glad you asked me that question. Right now, we are at the final push. I'm hoping the final push uh, to put together the money for a new facility. Now, in 2012, when we decided that we're going to try to buy 40 acres for $80,000, and we didn't have, we had $20,000 to start with, and we needed to raise 60. We went on Facebook and asked, at the time I think we had like 12,000 followers. We asked 12,000 people to send us $5 in a stamp. And uh, guess what happened? Guess, guess Greg. Uh, maybe we got enough money to buy the land? We did. We raised $80,000 in six weeks. We actually closed on the property two weeks before the end of our contract. It was a miracle. But, uh, and a lot of people are like, okay, you got the land, where's the facility? Well, you know, it's a whole other, lot of money that we got to throw down so we're going to walk away from this facility here I, it's really hard emotionally on me because i'm starting over uh, it took me you know 15 years to get the clinic built the way i wanted and where i wanted not ever expecting to be able to buy that 40. Um, but here's the benefit the benefit is number one the building will pay for itself in two years time uh, if i walk away from uh, this over here and number two it'll all be paid for. There will be no debt on the facility, brand new clinic. Uh, the other thing that's amazing is Wild Heart will be stable. As things are with Wild Heart on my personal property, if something happens to me, God forbid, uh, you know, it, it all goes away. And that's not stability. Um, when we move the facility over onto its own land, uh, Wild Heart owns Wild Heart. I don't, you know, and uh, it will always be and only be what we make it to be, which is a haven for wildlife and other animals. And uh, when this facility is built, then we're going to start on the county dog shelter uh, for dogs, cats, and horses. Um, so we just need to get moved. We need to get over on the property. I can't put animals over there unless we're over there. So uh, that's what this push is. But we started fundraising for our $5 in a stamp campaign yesterday at 4 o'clock. This morning we transferred $4,700 out of PayPal and majority of those donations were $5 and $10 donations. A handful of folks donated more and we thank you because you make up for a lot of the people that couldn't or didn't. And uh, But I'm going to keep pushing it because uh, we have 31,500 followers and uh, not all of those people see those posts. So you're going to see me just reposting and reposting and reposting until I feel confident that we have enough money to uh, finish and move. This is not a project we can do a little at a time. We have to build it, get it ready to run, because we're going to have three, four hundred animals over here that have to move. So it has to be complete for us to move. And uh, uh, we need to keep going. And another $15,000, we can raise $5,000 in less than 24 hours. And it's mostly five and ten dollar increments. If we could do that every two weeks, then we can complete this project and I can start sleeping at night. I want a day, my goal is to have a day where I don't have to say no to anybody when it's regarding an animal in need. That's my goal. And everybody says I'm crazy and I'll probably, you know, work myself to death. No, I won't. I have an amazing team of volunteers that all follow my lead and uh, they all agree with my philosophy, which is we all suffer the same. And uh, it doesn't matter what the species is. If it's suffering, somebody needs to step up and give it give it some help, find it a home, repair its wounds, feed it, raise it. We can do it all. We're good at it, aren't we? You bet. We are good. So, anyway, thank you to everybody that's been sending in money and donating. Keep sharing these posts. Keep spreading the word. Uh, we're going to do this. Wild Heart Ranch is going to be independent by the end of the year. By golly. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. You know it.